Hello, my air sign babies. This is going to be your monthly prediction video for April 2022. As always, take what resonates, leave the rest. Anything that you need to know about me is down in the description box below. Timestamps are down below. And we're going to go ahead and get started in this reading for April. I will... Um, I will say, if you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you resonate. Comment, share if you want to, and be sure to subscribe. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. All right, Spirit, what do we have for my Aquarius babies for April? What do we have for Aquarius for April? What do we have for Aquarius? Alright, Spirit, what do you have for my Aquarius babies for April? All right, so we have the Two of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, Page of Wands, as well as the Eight of Wands. So there could be some kind of fast-moving, very fiery energy coming towards you. It's going to be with a message. It's going to be one of those um, sporadic kind of knock-you-off-your-horse uh, type of energy. Um but keep in mind that it's just a page of wands. So it could be a message. It could be um, a text message or a phone call where it's like, why don't we try this? Um, I feel like instead of it being a bona fide offer, it's more of a suggestion. With the Two of Cups, this is, it's an offer of love. You could be connecting with somebody who is on your love level. Um, I do see you showing up in your own reading with the Queen of Swords. So it's like you you definitely know what it is that you want. You definitely know um, what you're going to allow in and what you're not going to allow in. And you're standing in that light. Confidently. It's like I'm not dealing with this and I'm not dealing with that and I'm not. I'm just not. But we do have this Queen of Cups, so there is a sense of love coming in for you. I feel like that this offer or this idea or this um, this message could be coming from this Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. But the Queen of Cups knows what she wants as well. And don't get, don't get hooked up in, um, don't get lost in gender here. The Queen of Cups knows what she has to offer. She knows what she wants to give. And she also knows her value. So we have two queens here that know their values. So one's thinking in the mind and one's thinking with their heart. So we do have the Ace of Cups. They're, this person could be very nurturing to you and they want to start a new beginning with you. They want to start moving towards something that you love. They want to start moving towards something that they love. I feel like this, this connection could be very um, divinely guided. And it's like a having this conversation. Like, let's research this. Let's, let's talk to each other with the Eight of Wands here. Let's talk to each other and let's figure out where this is going to go. Where is this going to lead us? I feel like that with the, um, with the Page of Wands... You know, it is, okay, we both know that the connection is there. We both know that we want this new beginning. So how are we going to make it work and how are we going to go forward with it? I feel like you're going to be in a negotiation talk with somebody um, to start a new love adventure. Um, and this is somebody that you're like truly connecting with to where they are sparking up things within you. 
and it's going to blindside you. Like their communication about this is going to blindside you. It's like, okay, let's go ahead and try this. Let's see what's going to happen. Bottom deck energy is 10 of cups. Look at all this cup energy, Aquarius. You have a lot of love coming towards you. A lot of love, a lot of abundance, a lot of emotional stability. You have that sense of family, that sense of emotion. And you are acting upon it. Like you're really looking at it. You're really in the negotiation stages. I think that's beautiful. We're going to find out what Aquarius does not see coming towards them. Spirit. What does Aquarius not see coming towards them in the month of April? What does Aquarius not see for the month of April? I'm not going to take this mini spirit, but we have the lover's card. So what you don't see coming towards you so far is the lover's card. It could be a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. We have the queen of wands. It could be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. We have the eight of pentacles and the nine of swords. I feel like this is a whole different person uh, that could be coming towards you that you don't see. And they are going to be giving you some kind of love offer to where you're going to have to make a choice. Um, and I feel like you're going to be in your head about this. You're going to be in your head about this and um, there's a sense of disappointment of you having to choose. So with the lover's card, I feel like that the first connection that we were talking about um, in the first set, I feel like you connect with this person, you, you have love for this person because of how easy and how flowing it is. Um, with the queen of wands, the queen of wands could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be, but this this person is more, um, they don't care about what other people think when it comes to making their move. It's like they're going to make their move, but I feel like that you have like a deeper connection with this person simply because the lover's card came out. So in the first one, it's a lot of understanding. It's a lot of love. It's a lot of nourishment. It's everything that you want with the Ten of Cups. Bottom deck energy here is the Nine of Pentacles. So, but with this connection, I feel like there could be a, a, a person coming towards you that is almost like a forbidden pleasure. It's like somebody who is very fiery. You connect with them and you're just like, oh God, I would love to have them. Type of energy where it just sets, up, it, it sets your um, excitement level uh, to the next level. <laughs> so it, it's like, um, it's not just love, but it's also passion. And so, you know, not that you couldn't have that in the first, you know, with the first energy, but I do feel like that with this energy, it, it's almost more of a total package for you. And with the excitement too, that you don't know what, what the next day is going to bring. With the Eight of Pentacles, I do see you focusing more on yourself, really thinking about what you want with your own stability, really thinking about where you want to go when it comes to your own foundation and you being steady. So it's like, that's why you're caught up in the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a very temporary um, placement of stress. <laughs> So it's like you're stressing yourself out. Who do I want to go with? Somebody who's more secure that I know is going to be there and not be flighty? Or do I want to go with excitement, love, passion, and, you know, like really go for what it is that I want to go for? And, you know, either way, there's going to be an offer for you to move uh, in the same direction with a new beginning of love. So we have the five of cups here where you're going to have to choose and you're going to be disappointed um, with whoever it is that you have to let go because you like both so much or you love both so much. And so I do feel as if you are 
um, going to be a bit disappointed where you're going to have to let go and let one be free or, you know, be free of one of them. So you are, uh, definitely going to be at that crossroads and with the um with the nine of pentacles on the bottom deck energy you're focusing on what it is that you truly want like you're really weighing the options this is a wish fulfillment card so you're getting all your wishes together and you're just like i don't know am i gonna you know at this point you really don't even know what you would do if you were presented with this opportunity and you don't see it coming just yet but it's coming towards you whether you want to see it or not. So, we're going to pull some animal message cards. Okay. Spirit, what, what spirit animal message cards, or what spirit animal messages do you have for my Aquarius babies? We have the giraffe, we have the lion, and we have the dolphin. So with the giraffe, we have the bigger picture. The bigger picture, take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. So if you have a choice to make, you definitely need to take a step back and say, what is for my greater good? Where does my heart go? Where is my mind going? Where can I prosper? Who is giving me back what I have to offer? So it's like you just really digging in deep as to, um, and this is so hard to say. I mean, it, it's really hard to say, especially when you're a giving person. So it's like, you don't want anyone to be left out in the cold, but if you have that choice to make and one person gives you everything that you're looking for, you can't, you can't settle for the immature one who doesn't know what they want. So it's like taking that step back and looking at the bigger picture. Where are you going to be with both energies once they are placed in front of you? So thinking about your dreams, thinking about what you want to come to fruition, thinking about everything that you want in your life. Do you want somebody who's flighty, who doesn't know anything of what they even want from one day to another? Or do you want a person who is solid that can give you that sense of security, knowing that you're okay, knowing that they're not gonna leave you just because they see something shiny in the corner. So it, it's like you knowing that you have that sense of security. We also have the lion, which is honor. Honor your soul and celebrate its journey. So once again, Taking that step back, looking at the journey that you are going on, making sure that you're picking up the lessons that you need to pick up in order for you to move forward for yourself. You know, I have been using, you know, work for yourself in so many readings, and it actually sounds so selfish to say, but you have to work for yourself. Some people are going to align with you. Some people are not. What I have noticed over this past week is that I have been talking a lot about let go of people who are not aligning with you. You can have fun along the way all you want to, you know, you can have those people that you know is just going to fall away once the real thing steps into play. If a person wants to be that real thing, they're going to step up. They're going to handle what they need to handle. And you can't worry about that. You know, you have to enjoy your journey, get what you need to learn in order to go on to the next level. We also have Dolphin, which is Atlantis. Healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. Once again, it's about listening to your intuition, listening to yourself, making sure that you are, you know, staying focused, staying centered, and staying grounded. So... That's what I have for you for the month of April. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know uh, what's going on in that mind of yours. And have a great month, and I will talk to you soon. We're going to move on to Gemini. 
All right. Hi, Gemini. Okay. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Gemini babies for the month of April? Spirit, what do you have for my Gemini babies for the month of April? Gemini, always in your head, always in your head, always in your head. Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. You don't have to be. We also have the Three of Cups. Okay. And we also have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Nine of Swords, I see that you are stressing yourself out about a lot of shit to where you're just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to go with whatever flows. And you just, one day you wake up and say, guess what, I don't want to stress out anymore, and I'm just going to lay my ass down and wait. So when it comes to the Page of Pentacles, just because you're waiting doesn't mean you're not planning. And so I see you planting, planting seeds of you know, uh, knowledge in your own mind. We have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom deck energy. You could be dealing with an earth sign. You don't have to be, but you very well could be. Um, when it comes to the Page of Pentacles, that is you making a plan on making yourself more stable, having more of a steady ground. You are grounding yourself. Um, when it comes to the Emperor, this could be your own energy. The Emperor is all four kings in one. It's like you can't tell the Emperor shit. Why? Because he already knows everything. But that's also what makes him cocky. Because we already know that nobody knows everything. But this energy is a sense of, yeah, I know everything. And no matter what you tell me, this is what I am, you know, uh, this is what I know. And this is what I'm going with. It's like you're not going to hear anything else. We do have the Three of Cups, which tells me that you do have that loving support. This could be from family. This could be from friends. Um, but it's almost like they offer it. And you're like, yeah, I'm just going to tuck that in my back pocket. But thank you for playing. I don't see you like really listening to it. <laughs> The only reason why I say that is because next we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is you standing true and standing in your own power. You are holding on to your own, um, you're, you're holding on to your own opinions. You're holding on to your own view of things. You're holding on to, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter to me whether you are right or not. I'm going to go and do what I want to do anyway. But if you're moving towards or if or if you have the Queen of Pentacles in your life, the Queen of Pentacles is very loving, very nourishing, wants to be there for you, is very loyal. And I feel like that you are looking for that in your life. You're looking for somebody that you can depend on. You're looking for somebody who is safe. You're looking for somebody who, you know, you can um, you can leave a hundred dollars out on the table and you know that they're not going to take it. You know, so it, it's that sense of uh, knowing that you can trust this person. And I feel like um, you have been so burned out by everything and everybody else that you are really trying to move towards somebody that is stuff that has substance. So we're going to find out what you don't know is coming towards you uh, for the month of April. All right, Spirit, what does Gemini not see coming for the month of April? What does Gemini not see coming for the month of April? We have the Six of Wands. We have the Hanged Man, the Seven of Pentacles. So what you don't see coming is that you are going to have a victory in something um, when it comes to the Six of Wands. But what you get faced with, 
you're not sure if it's worth it to you. So if you're moving towards that Queen of Pentacles, um, they could possibly give you an offer that you don't, you didn't necessarily think you wanted, or they could be giving you an offer that you feel is less than. Um, the victory in itself is the offer. But the Seven of Pentacles is you saying, is this worth me working on? Is this worth me um, having? Um, because it's going to take work. So when it comes to the hangman, you're kind of at an indecision. It's, it's not that you don't know what this person is capable of, but you feel like there is something that is holding them back from going forward with you. Bottom deck energy is the King of Swords, which is you, which tells me that you could possibly be in that ego of, it's my way or the highway. And so if you're coming towards, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign and you're going towards an earth sign and saying, it's my way or the highway, guess what? They're about compromise. They're not about being told what to do. So it's like, you kind of have to pull your head out a little bit, get out of your own ego and be like, Hey, okay, I need to negotiate. I need to talk to them about this. I need to, I need to communicate. You can't just walk into a situation and say, it's just going to be my way and nothing else. Nobody benefits from that. Nobody benefits from that at all. And so I feel like that because you're not getting the outcome that you want, it's like you're shutting it down. It's like, this isn't going to be worth it to me because I'm not getting, getting my way just handed to me. But you have to realize, Gemini, what is worth having is worth working towards. And if you're not willing to work towards this person or work towards this connection, then you don't deserve it. So with the hanged man, you're trying to get your head out of your ass and you're trying to figure out how you can move forward. So you end up having some kind of ego death and you have a rebirth and you're just like, okay, we're going to get this figured out. But as you're going through this, it's, you have the Ten of Swords. This is very stressful for you. This has been a lot of work and there could be a little bit of, I'm a little bit pissed off because this did not just get handed to me. There's a sense that you have to work towards it. Why you have to work towards it? I don't know. Maybe you disregarded this person before. And now you have to work towards getting them back on a certain level of uh, respect. I'm not really sure. But you do see that you have to put the work in in order to get this person back. Or you have to put the work in in order to be back in the good graces of this person. So when it comes to the, uh, the Page of Cups, you are planning. You are um, trying to get things in line, trying to get your ducks in a row with how you're going to offer. You're going to make a new offer to this person. So it's like the old offer that you gave, it just kind of like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. So it's like you're trying to get it together and you're trying to give a new offer um, in order to move in a different direction with this connection. So I do find you... Um, gravitating towards having respect for their decision and understanding why they made the decision that they made. But I don't see you giving up. And that's the whole beauty behind it. I don't see you giving up. I, I see you being like, I want to be a better person for this person. And that's what I see you working towards. It's such an attractive thing to see that you know what you want and you're working towards it and you're letting it be known that that's exactly what you're working towards and you're focused. That's beautiful. We're going to pull some spirit animal message cards to close out the reading and then we're going to move on to Libra. Hi right, spirit. What spirit animal messages do you have for my Gemini babies? All right. Okay. So we have the whale, tenderness. So we have the sea turtle, conservation. And we have the spider, which is dream weaver. So when it comes to the whale... Tenderness, show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. See, that's why I was telling you that there's a sense of you um, having some kind of discontent because you're not getting the answer that you want. Because you might not be getting the answer that you want, you could hold a little bit of resentment. 
So, you know, there's a, there's a part of you that needs to say, okay, I need to understand this. I need to understand that. I need, even though I don't agree, I need to understand where they're coming from. Where is this under, where is this answer coming from? Their actions that they're showing me right now, where is it coming from? And so it's a sense of you needing to understand the other point of view and applying it to where you are at of what you need to learn. We all need to learn things. Nobody is perfect. We all need to learn things. I cannot I cannot express that enough. We all need to learn things. Nobody is going to be perfect. We all get hurt. But we all need to learn those lessons and, you know, understand, especially if you've hurt a person, you need to understand that they have a growth process as well. And if there's something that you did in the past, they don't want to deal with your shit now. So if it's a sense of you making some kind of amends with somebody, have some compassion as to where they are. And you have to chuck the ego. We also have sea turtle, which is conservation. Make conscious choices. Once again, making that conscious choice to put the hard work in. You're making that conscious choice to say, okay, this is what I want and this is what's worth me having. You are making the conscious choice. You're not just waiting for it to come up and bite you in the ass one day. This is something that you actually see and you're dedicated towards working on. So it's like you are making that choice to move in the direction that you're moving in. Then we have Spider, which is Dreamweaver. Tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send, send your energy for healing? So if you have things going on within you that has hurt you, you have to get to the brunt of that pain and don't bring it to the next fucking relationship. Don't bring it to the next thing. You have to see the relationship for what it is. You have to see what you're in now and don't compare it to what you've been through before. If you are in a new area of, okay, I am embarking on something that's brand new. I am embarking on something that I'm not used to. I'm, you know, don't be scared of good connection that feels right to you. Don't self-sabotage that shit because you never know. If you have a person who's giving you chance after chance and you keep pushing them away, guess what? They're going to stop. They will one day wake up and say, you know what? Fuck that. I'm not going to keep setting myself up for rejection. So it's like if you have done this to a person, you have to understand that you have things within you that you need to heal. And you need to be honest about that. And you can also have a relationship while you heal. Like you can, nobody said that you can't have a relationship while you heal. It's about communication and letting that other person know exactly where you're at. So that way they can also step up for you and be what it is that you need in order to heal. But you are the driver of your own reality on how you heal. Like that part is totally up to you. But you can have a really strong support system if you allow it to happen. And I feel like that you haven't allowed things like that to happen because you're too far up in your head. I really didn't want to say head, but you get what I'm saying. You're too far into your thoughts to think with your heart. So you have to balance those two out. It's okay to think with your with your head, but you also have to make room to think with your heart. Because once you think with your heart, every all the other immature bullshit that you do, it's going to fall away. Like, is that really important for you to do? Think about it, Gemini. Okay, so that's what I have for you for the month of April. I'm sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. I really hope you have a great month. I see so much growth here. So much growth. So if you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And I will talk to you soon. We are going to move on to Libra. Libra. Hello. How are you? All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Libra babies for the month of April? All right. We have already, gosh, you got cards just like, hello. 
Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Emperor. You are already, you have your mind set on something strong. Um, with the Two of Pentacles, it shows that you've already made the decision that you're going to be putting in hard work for something. And when I say you're going to put in hard work, like you're going to be extremely focused on it. We also have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is you gathering your research as to how you're how you're going to do this. What is it that you want? How are you going to put in the work? What is it that you need to do? And with the Emperor, you're dedicated to doing that. I feel like that there is something that you just have a really strong, um, like you're set. Like your mind is set. We also have the Eight of Wands. You're trying to move in a very fast way. It's almost like you want to get it before it gets too far away from you. We have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is about um, healing from a heartbreak. So if you are healing from a relationship or you are healing from something that disappointed you, I see you trying to make amends in that way. Um... You might be trying to get somebody or something back. Um, when it comes to the Four of Swords, we have the Four of Swords. Okay. So you're very determined to trust the process. We also have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Empress, and the Eight of Cups, along with the Six of Swords. That tells me that you see this person as your Empress. Somebody who's growing, somebody who is, um, they're worth the change for you. Like you, you look at them and you're like, they are worth me changing for. So I feel as if you could be having some kind of, um, you know, you're trying to, you're trying to heal from a heartbreak, but you're coming to the realization that this, this breakup didn't have to happen. And so you're resigning to it. It's like you're resigning to change. You are willing to put the hard work in. And it's like you are like really focused on, on getting something or somebody back into your life. Um, and the emperor is very stubborn and very strong with it. Like I feel like that you're going to. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like that you're going to be really focused on making this change happen, even though you know it's going to be hard work and it's not going to be easy for you. But it's almost like, okay, I've already decided. I know what I need to do and I'm surrendering to what I need to do. Um, you could be also fighting and debating within yourself at times. But the Emperor definitely tells me that you are focused and you are wanting to bring this into your life. Um, yeah, I feel like the, the Three of Swords is you like really being um, like, I know I need to heal from this. I know I need to heal before I can bring this back or before I can work on this. With the Four of Swords, like I said, you're totally surrendering to it. Let's find out... And you're going to get clarity because, like I said, we have the Two of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. You look at this person like they're your Empress. And we have the Eight of Cups, which is you moving on um, into a better direction. You know, you are wanting... Uh, see, you could be dealing with an Earth sign. You don't have to be. But you could be trying to uh, bring an Earth sign back into your life or have an Earth sign in your life. Okay. So, Spirit. What does Libra not see coming towards them? What is coming towards Libra that they do not see for the month of April? We have judgment. So you could be going through a legal matter. You don't have to be. Um, but I see you trying to um, use your judgment, trying to balance things out. Two of Pentacles again. So you're gonna, you're not just thinking about putting in the hard work, Libra. You're putting in 
the hard work. We have the devil card energy here. The devil card energy is you facing your own self-sabotaging behaviors. It's you researching yourself and saying, I could change this. I could use this change. You could also be dealing with the Capricorn, but you don't have to be. But it's like you are really looking at certain things. With the Two of Swords, you're using your intuition. We also have the Temperance card, which is you're trying to balance things out. You're trying to harmonize things. You could also be dealing with the Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. So with the Seven of Wands, that is a sense of you being a little bit defensive about, you know, you, you put in a lot of hard work. You're going to be putting in a lot of hard work. And you're going to be protecting that. So whatever it is that you're trying to work towards, you're going to be protecting that. That's going to be under your protection. And so I feel like with the Eight of Swords, there could be energy on the on the outside working to interfere with what you're trying to do. So it's like if you're trying to pull a person back into your life or if you're trying to make amends with a person, keep in mind that they could have other people in their lives that's going to try to interfere your connection. They're, they're going to try to step in and say, yeah, not so fast, you know, but I feel like that you're still willing to put the work in and you don't care who's standing there. You don't give a flying fuck who's standing there. You are like really using your own intuition and you're going to, you're making the choice to bring your peace back. It's like, I feel like that you have lost your peace and you are trying to bring your peace back into your life. And this is what you're trying to balance. And this is what you know is going to be hard work. It's not going to be easy for you to get it back. It's absolutely not going to be easy for you to get it back. But I do see this interference. And I feel like that, that the interference that's coming into play is has something to do with the other energy. So the other energy or the other person that you are trying to bring back into your life, like I said, they could have things going on in their life that is in, that's interference with you getting what it is that you want. So, just keep in mind that you could, I really don't want to look at it like you have competition, but you very well could have competition if you're, if you're trying to bring a certain person back into your life. And so the things that, the two that stand out to me is, uh, that could be interference, could be um, could be a Sagittarius, could be a Capricorn, but I feel like you are, you know, with these cards, you're just trying to harmonize things and you're trying to bring something back that was once your solitude, was once your safe haven. I feel like that you're really trying to work on bringing your safe haven back. So we're going to pull some spirit animal messages. All right, spirit. Back. What spirit animal messages do you have for my Libra babies for the month of April? We have the snake, which is Kundalini Rising. Kundalini Rising is all about you looking within yourself and you growing like crazy to the point where it almost makes you feel crazy. Okay? It almost makes you feel like you're crazy because you're going through so much growth at such a fast rate. Now, you did have the Eight of Wands, which is very fast downloading communication. So, that could be this. Um, it's almost like you are trying to move at a very fast pace. You're trying to go ahead and get through the lessons that you need to get through in order to bring back what it is that you want back in your life. Um, Kundalini Rising, it says, channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. So you are definitely trying to make these transformations happen. And I feel like while you're trying to make these transformations happen, it's almost like a look at where I've grown. Look at what I'm doing. I want you to pay attention to what I'm doing. I want you to see how much I've grown. We also have the fox with the shadow work. 
Okay, we also have the whale, which is tenderness. So it's like uh, with the whale, show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. This also means forgiving yourself. This means forgiving yourself for whatever it is that you feel you have done wrong. Um, but I do see you voicing this. Like I see you, you know, coming forward and saying, look, this is how much I've grown. This is what I've learned. This is what I'm applying. And this is what I want you to see. I feel like that you are, I'm not going to say you're selling yourself. It's just that you want it to be known that you are putting in the work that you need to put in. And you're having like no problem communicating that. So with shadow work, there are no shadows without light. And I feel like that that's what you're missing. I feel like don't get so caught up in thinking that your light is external. You don't have to go to another energy to pull light. You don't have to go to another energy to pull energy. It's just easier to do that than to pull it within yourself. Because when you pull it within yourself, it can be kind of exhausting. But when you pull it from somebody else, please keep in mind that that's exhausting to the other person. And that is so selfish. So make sure that you're not doing this from like a selfish standpoint. Make sure that you're not doing this entirely for your own selfish reasons. Like, are you really going to have something, like once you pull something back into your life, are you really going to be able to offer something that, that is comparable to what they're offering you? If the answer is no, leave them the fuck alone and let them live their life. And let them have what they deserve. Okay? So it's like, make sure that you're not coming from a selfish standpoint. I feel as if you are like, okay, this person was my peace. This was my, you know, this was my sanctuary. You can still make that within yourself. You can still have all of that within yourself. Make sure you're pulling it within yourself first. And then you can add enhancements later. You can add things in later. That is almost like, um... Ah, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're just additives, you know? You have to make sure that you're doing your thing first within yourself. So that's what I have for you for the month of April, Libra. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to. Let me know if you resonate. Have a great month, and I will talk to you soon.